Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at a viewer creation. This is by TR. Now I might be saying that wrong, he's from Turkey, and he sent me what he called it, a fan map, and I'm a little confused by that. I, I never know what that actually means, but I think it's really cool that, you know, he's made a map with me in mind, so that's obviously awesome. Now I have gone in here and checked out some of the things, and there's actually some really neat stuff here. The first thing he's got is this little car. Now this car is really just a means of transportation around the map. He's got two areas here. He's got a cable car to the left and he calls it Area 6F and that's to the right. There's some really cool vehicles over there. But the first thing I'm going to check out is his cable car. And I was kind of amazed. I've seen a lot of these cable cars in Scrap Mechanic and they're not terribly hard to make. Uh, once you get the basic concept down and now that I've seen his I kind of actually want to make one for the town. But I was really always kind of confused how they made him turn and how they made the track and he's done a really pretty good job. Uh, you can see up there, that's actually the track for the cable car and hopefully that shows up on video but you see it starts up at the top of the mountain and runs all the way over to the other side. Now my town map really doesn't have any mountains like this and that's kind of a shame considering that that would be like a really awesome spot for a cable car but anyways we're gonna go up there and check it out and ride it real quick. And then we'll go check out the uh, Area 6F on the other side of the map. So let me get up to the top here. Now as a real quick, uh, I know probably some people have seen the rockets on here. They really just make it drive a little bit faster. It's kind of a really unique look of a car. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I was a little confused by it when I was looking at it at first. I was like, why is the rockets on it? And it's really just to power it up and make it go just a little bit faster. It's a really unique little car. I've never seen anything like this. Now we're almost to the top here and he's got a pretty cool looking cable car. Now I'm kind of curious as like how much could you put, like how big of a cable car could you use? His is fairly decent size, but I was thinking something for the town of having like a really, really big one, but I don't know what the limitations are, so I might have to do a little bit of testing after I get through with the airport, but here's his cable car here. It's kind of pretty compact. Uh, it runs off of, whoa, what is going on here? Okay, there we go. Guess I could have opened the door up first. Uh, let's see, oh, two switches there, but yeah. Here's the cable car. Now, his cable car goes all the way over. There's another, I wouldn't say, oh, I guess you could say that's another mountain. It runs all the way across, and I could just imagine, this was very time consuming. Do you see these are all slanted pieces? And that's all the way down to the bottom and it goes, he's got like concrete bits that go all the way to the other side and it lifts back up. And yeah, that, that probably took a lot of time. So let's see how we work this thing. Now I, from what I've seen earlier, I looked at it. He's got a couple electric motors on the bottom. Let me go and pull the spider web up here. He's got electric motors on the bottom. They turn the wheels so the wheels got along the track, but he's also got some rockets to assist a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump in here. This cable car holds four people. One thing I had to turn on real quick, I needed to turn the particles on it. Oops, left the uh, rockets on the car, but I wanted to see which thrusters were working where, that way I know exactly what I'm doing here. So sounds like, was this three? No, it's four and five. Activate the front thrusters and you can use the W key to start speeding them up. And we should in theory just shoot right down this, there we go. It's actually fairly speedy. It's a nice ride, a uh, nice view actually. You can somewhat see his area 6F over there. It's actually a really neat area. It's kind of like a, uh, I guess it's like an area 51 type deal. And he's got something in there that you guys actually ask about on the airport. It was kind of a, just a random craft. And he's got one over there. I'm gonna show you guys it here in a second. We're gonna go ahead and finish this ride. Uh, how are we going to get by these trees up here is a question. Hmm. Kind of looks like we're going to make contact with the branches up here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we get through them. Let's see. Uh, we cleared that one. We've got one up here to the right. Looks like we might smack with the uh, cart. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Man, that was a lucky shot how he made it through that. I guess... I guess he eyeballed this a little bit, like he eyeballed it and he just looked to see exactly where it was going to go and just hope for the best because I'm surprised we didn't get caught up on those branches back there, but 
almost through with the ride here and it takes you over to the other mountain and he's conveniently got a car waiting here for me so we're gonna jump into that and we're gonna go drive over to area 6f so let's go over here I've yet to discover I need to probably look around a little bit more make sure he doesn't have something else hidden on this map because there's just a lot of random creations on here a lot of actual pretty unique things so there's that park it Go ahead and open the door and we're gonna jump out here. Actually, do I, do I need to use the door or can I just hop out the top? I guess realistically I don't need, that door is actually kind of small. Scrap mechanic character is small, but I don't think he's quite that small. You can get in through the door. I guess it's really just to open up where you can have access to the uh, seats. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump in his little car here and let me go ahead and light up my connection tool. Yeah, it seems like everything's over there. Make sure there's something that I'm not missing and there's something here in the ground. Something must have fell into the ground because I don't see, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but let's uh, jump over into area 6F real quick and you can see where we actually came from way up there on that other mountain. So that's a, that's a really cool cable car. And if you guys ever want to send me stuff like this, I still get a lot of viewer creations and a lot of times they're just real, oh crud, I'm gonna hit a tree. They're normally like one-off creations, like a little car or something. I typically don't make videos on that, but if you have like worlds like this, uh, definitely I'll take a look at it because, you know, the more creations, the merrier. You just get a lot more stuff to do, a lot more stuff to show off. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the other area here. Okay, welcome to Area 6F. And I think this is just like a parody or something of Area 51 because there's something in here. And I didn't see that tower over there. That actually looks pretty cool. Maybe maybe we could use something. I, I always like, when I see these viewer creations, I always think of stuff that I could actually implement in my world. And that looks like that would fit in the airport. But here's a little gate. We need to step in front of the sensor here. Give it a second. It's going to raise up. And there is his, I want to call this a monster truck. Somewhat of a monster truck. This thing's kind of a beast. I drove it around earlier. Uh, normally when I do these worlds, I'll go play around in them for a little bit. And then I'll reset him back to the original state because he's got everything set up. But I drove this around a little bit. This is pretty cool. Kind of really makes me want big wheels and scrap mechanic. I know you can use these, but I really want like a big dedicated wheel. And is that a gravestone? I don't think I saw that the first time. Okay. That's odd. There's just a lot of random things in here, but that, you know, it's a gravestone. That actually looks pretty cool. Somebody asked me the other day for a cemetery in the town. I don't wonder if that was him. I need to go back and check the comment section. But yeah, this is a pretty fun little off-road vehicle. You can drive it around. It's got a really cool suspension on it, though. It's got a, uh, you can somewhat see under it here. And actually, it's going to be better if I can, uh, get a little bit of lag there. If I jump out here and show you the bearings, you can see under here, the way he's got it set up, you can see the suspension pieces. They all hook up, and you can't... Well, you can't really see him up there. There's actually two more pieces up there. So it's this weird suspension that it starts out in the body, comes down, and it continues here. And then he's got these pieces that will actually allow the uh, the wheels to rock back and forth. And you can actually see all the pipe pieces down there. He's got a pretty complicated setup, but really unique. I always love seeing new suspension designs. That's like one of my favorite things in Scrap Mechanic. I was actually probably obsessed with that when I first started out. If you look like watch a lot of my early videos, it was a whole lot of off-road vehicles, just tons. And they all had all these unique suspensions that I always try to do some different things and they didn't always all work out, but it's definitely getting better, especially the game. The game used to not like the suspension pieces. If you use too many of them, it was a nightmare, but he did a pretty good job here. Now he's got some more vehicles over here. He's got a helicopter. He's got, I don't know even what we're gonna call that. I'm gonna try that out here in a second. It's got, looks like a little rover here. Now the helicopter, I tried to adjust the thrusters. He's got the suspension glitch going on down here. He's got all the rotors, everything's, it's a really neat setup, but I don't know if we're getting the same FPS. And I've mentioned this before, that this is a thing. When you go here and go into each other's worlds and if the creation, if everything's not matched up perfectly, things are really hard to fly. So I went in here and I tried to adjust it a little bit. I couldn't quite get it the way I want it. And I don't know if it's the crazy rotor on top that's throwing it off. He's kind of got it balanced, but it does not really fly straight. At least not for me. Now, he could have a completely different setup in his world, and it works just fine. And Oh, that was a mistake. 
but uh, it's a cool looking design. I've never been good at making helicopters, so I don't really, I don't judge anybody else's helicopters when I see them. But uh, it's definitely, it's really compact. Uh, actually really neat looking. But this thing, I don't know what this is. This is crazy. It's got suspension pieces all up and down. I don't know if those actually do anything. I wanna say they don't. Oh, they do. Oh, oh, what is this? Okay. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Oh, that is really cool. Now I've seen little hovercraft like this and I've seen it where they use a suspension piece in the sensor mix, but I've never seen one that uses that many suspension pieces. That's actually really cool. Uh, a little impractical to drive, but it kind of just hops up and down. It's it's awesome looking. I don't know how quick you can get around with it. Let me try adjusting the buttons and see. Oh, you know what? He's actually got the thrusters in the back. That'll speed you up a little bit. That is cool. That is really cool. Actually, I didn't play with this one earlier. Oh, crap. Oh, this is going to be bad. See, I have a bad tendency of hopping out of the seat when I'm driving things, especially if I've got to use a bunch of buttons. Like, I've been flying around, and I'll hop out of it by mistake, and I'll just watch the craft just go, and I'm like, wow, that's depressing. And, oh, whoa, oh, this is actually kind of cool. I don't really know the purpose of it, but it's like one of those really unique-looking designs. It's just, just random. Let me go ahead and see if I can actually pilot this thing over to the other side and show you the vehicle. The vehicle he's got over here, it's, oh, crud. You know, we're going to just drop this thing. Now, I need to email him, or if I don't, if he doesn't answer me, he'll probably see this video. I don't know if he's got his stuff available in the workshop. Uh, hopefully he does, because there's a lot of cool designs here that I'm pretty sure he'd like to share. I normally don't share viewer creations. Now, he does have a channel, but he doesn't have any content on it yet. Uh, maybe he's in the process of making videos. He just sent me this not too long ago, so it makes me think that he's in the process of getting all this together and making some designs. I wouldn't really, I don't know how to explain his work, like, it's just, it's really random, but it's really cool, like, he's just got a bunch of cool crafts, so I don't know, like, normally, like, if I see a channel, I know kind of the creations they make, if they're technical, if they're just really visually pleasing, and his is just kind of on both sides, he's got some really technical vehicles, and he's got some really just awesome looking vehicles, so, that's just a simple little craft, um, he's got a house here, too. Like, this world is completely random. So let me go ahead and go into the the house here. As you can see, he's got a nice kitchen. Really nice kitchen area. You can open all these up. He's got some of the controllers hidden. He's got some piping up here. I'm assuming that's, I don't know what that's for. Maybe water? No? He's got a sink here. I don't know really what those are actually running to. Some boxes, a nice table here. You can see his TV setup and speakers. Got a little shoe rack over here, a couple more tables and chairs. This might be like a stove or something, or a pipe, uh, maybe it's a fireplace that's running up to the top, but it's got an elevator here, and I haven't seen, where's the, what's this elevator working on? I might have to take this apart and see what he's doing here. So you can do that, and it'll come up, and give it a second, and it takes a second to open. I was waiting for it to open earlier, and I almost got impatient and started deleting glass blocks. I don't know what he's running up there. I can see the two controllers up in the roof, but maybe it's just some sort of... I think it's some sort of simple arm design, but still works pretty good. That looks like it's a uh, telescope. Maybe you're spying on the neighbors. I don't see any neighbors, so maybe he's actually looking up in the sky. Got a little sitting area here, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. He's actually got... It looks like a couch, but he, he makes it practical where you can actually sit down, so he uses the seats in there. Uh, over here, it looks like he's got a computer. Maybe this is his gaming computer. He's got a little setup. Spins the uh, chair around. Uh, what is this? I'm assuming this is a bathroom. There we go. I know. Okay, it makes noise. Still don't know what that is, but nice little bathroom. You know, I need to start using these windows more often. These actually look nice. I always complain about not having, like, clear windows, but they've got a fairly... I just wish there was more shapes of this, but... It's actually really nice. It's real clear. You can see out it. Uh, maybe I'll start using those more often. Anyways, he's got a big old TV over here. He's got a nice bed set up. I, I like that headboard there. I don't think I've ever used that in any of my designs. You can open this up. I love seeing structures. Like, whenever somebody creates a structure and sends it to me. Like, I know scrap mechanics is morally about vehicles and complicated designs, but I really like seeing structures. It's always neat. 
Uh, of course, that's what I've moved off and I've started doing more of or structures and oh, you know, what? I didn't actually see that. I didn't look out the windows here. It actually aims right out into his garage and here he's got another vehicle. Got a lot of vehicles here. This one's a kind of an off-road car. Looks like we've got, oh, this might actually be a hover car. This is the most random world I've ever been in. It's cool and, oh, this hover might be a little too much. Too much, too much hover, too much hover. This is a flying car. Like I said, I have not played with some of these designs and I have a feeling these might work a little better on his world, but we're probably getting two different FPSs, so I might have to tone down some of these uh, thrusters here, but now I've been kicked out. Now for the final creation, it's in that little garage there. There's something extremely cool in there, and I'm going to go around and get to it. I think it would be kind of cool to have it on my town map, just as a little extra, like a little hidden thing. My uh, town map's been pretty, I don't want to say realistic, but it's been pretty normal. But he's got something that's not normal in here. I talk about Area 6F and how it may be a parody of like Area 51. And I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and activate the sensor to get really close to it here. And let's go ahead and hop over there. Better drive over the hill here. And that thing still trips me out. You can see it's just wobbling around. That is really weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop over here and we'll go around the building. Now he's got something in here. It is a UFO. Go ahead and open up here. He's got a little camera or maybe it's just a spotlight that watches you. Let's open this up and boom. There is a UFO in here. Now he's got a lot of seats in here and fit up to four people. The controls are all done through the main seat and it's a little tricky to fly, but it's actually fairly stable. Uh, let me go ahead and lower the landing gear. Actually, there we go. Lower it. Okay, I think I've got the hover. I'm trying to remember how to do this exactly. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there's the hover. Landing gear's off. Let's go ahead and close the cockpit. I think it's five. Six. I think it's a little step, so I can close that. And let's go ahead and go to the next one. There's that. Okay, you can see the thrusters. I'm glad I turned those back on where you can actually see them. Yeah, you can adjust those. You can activate both at the same time. This thing is really well balanced. Uh, he did a good job with the weight distribution in here. Now you can see it runs off a sensor. That's the way it turns. You can see through the glass. When I hit the D key, you can see them shift over. And when I hit the A key, they shift over to the left, so it turns it. Uh, it's really stable. He's got some extra thrusters in here to kind of balance the nose. So say if you need to tip the nose up, you can hit the... Uh, four key and it'll back it off or if you need to tip down you can hit the three key this is actually something kind of like what i would say moonbo uses he does this a lot in his designs and i've always really enjoyed these uh the way they fly they, they take a little bit to get used to admittedly uh you got to learn to keyboard dance but once you do there's like nothing like them they're just so stable and this one i'm actually floating a little too high up, I would say. Let's go ahead and lower it down. Realistically, all I'm going to do, I'm going to spam the 7 and 8 key. And actually, we're gliding here. I don't think we're actually losing too much altitude. That's pretty neat. And let's go ahead and turn this thing a little bit. Now, you got to be careful. You can't turn it the fastest. Uh, I don't, like, it'll flip over sometimes. So I'm going to kind of avoid doing that. But let's see. See if I can propel myself forward a little bit. It seems like I'm a little over to the side here, so if I can activate... There's a side thruster on here. Try to get this thing tilted back over. Man, he got a really nice looking map. I, it's such a shame that I did not get a mountain like this, because there's so many possibilities with a mountain that I just didn't get that opportunity, so I'm a little, a little bummed out by that. Go ahead and lower here. We're gonna hover around on the ground and oh no, I might have turned off too many thrusters here. Oops, accidentally left the back ones on. See if we can stabilize ourselves here. Look at that. Look at that. That is about as close of a save as you're gonna get from me in flying because I'm not good at this. And oh nope, I'm gonna ruin it all right here. We're gonna crash into the side of the mountain. Oh, that wasn't actually bad. I thought I was gonna get a lot more lag than that. Boom. There we go. Now we've just got a rolling pinwheel here. So let's go ahead and 
knock that down and I'm gonna drive it around on the ground here for a little bit and then we're gonna call it a day like I said what I've been doing recently with the town I've been doing two town episodes and then I get around and try to if I can get something multiplayer going I would prefer to do that I like doing fan creations or I don't like calling them fan creations viewer creations I like doing these because you guys send me a lot of neat stuff and I know you guys want me to show some stuff up on the channel that way you can see it and it's always really fun to be able to do this for you guys and when you send me stuff like this it's definitely worth it to me because there's just so many neat things going on in some of these creations that I just love looking at them so keep sending me these creations I will keep looking at them like I said I can't guarantee everybody's gonna get a episode or a viewer creation thing on my channel but I try to do as many as possible. But anyways, tomorrow we are probably going to play a random game. I'm not really sure what it's going to be. It could be a couple videos. I've got some, I've actually got a backlog of videos, a little backlog. It's not a big one. And that's a first for me. I normally don't have that because I'm normally so backed up with my scrap mechanic or I'm still behind. But I'm actually not in that position. I'm going to try to, nope, I'm not going to come close to landing it. But I'm actually in a pretty good position this week, so... Uh, hopefully, if my upload speed allows it, I can maybe get out multiple videos. Not 100% sure. I can't promise anything, but... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, I've got plenty more Scrap Mechanic coming. I'll have a town update on Tuesday, so we'll continue work on the airport. Hope you guys have been enjoying that, and thank you for your support on this series. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you!